Back on the Young Turks, and yet another great guest for you guys. Uh, Matt Continetti is an associate editor at the Weekly Standard, and he's the author of a new book called The Persecution of Sarah Palin, How the Elite Media Tried to Bring Down a Rising Star. There it is. Matt, thanks for joining us on the Young Turks. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt, we hadn't gotten to you yet. <laughs> thanks for joining oh, us sorry. on the Young thanks Turks. Thanks for having me. All right, uh, great. So, uh, Matt, what is your contention here, that the uh, media... Uh, purposely set their sights on Sarah Palin to take her down. And, well, let me let you make the case. What, what do you think happened? Well, I'm not sure if it was purposeful, but I do think it's what uh, exactly what happened. When Sarah Palin appeared on the national stage in the, August 29 of 2008, no one knew anything about her. Uh, really, the only thing anyone knew about Sarah Palin was that she was the governor of Alaska and she was a pro-life mother of five. And then the media began to uh, fill in the pieces, but the portrait that they uh, painted of Sarah Palin in many cases was simply false. In other cases, it was a gross distortion of her actual record and her actual approach to politics. Mm -hmm. And then in other, other cases, it was uh, just uh, straight-out vitriol, uh, liberal writers and bloggers just uh, insulting her, uh, criticizing her, lampooning her, uh, just basically out uh, to delegitimize her and tear her down. Well, Matt, let me tell you what my perspective was, and then uh, we'll, let, we'll have a discussion about it. When she was first announced, we did it on the show, and it's on YouTube. It's on, you know, if you're a member of the show, you can check it out, go to the old records. I said, look, there's upsides and downsides, and honestly, I had about seven to ten upsides and downsides in that selection. And I thought it was an interesting and bold choice by uh, John McCain, very popular in Alaska, Sarah Palin was. So I came in, at, and I don't agree with her politics. So, um, you know, I came at it from that point of view, but I came at it with a point of view of maybe it's a smart political uh, move. And so, uh, but then what I discovered as uh, the, you know, as time went on was that she was completely incompetent and that she didn't know anything. I mean, she didn't, couldn't name a single Supreme Court case. Uh, she couldn't name a single paper she read. Uh, it was down, she, she didn't know who Hamas was. Uh, it was downright embarrassing. Did you not see the same things I saw, Matt? No, I didn't see the same things that, I, that you saw. As I write in The Persecution of Sarah Palin, the two of the three instances that you refer to uh, happened in an interview with Katie Couric, <clears throat> which was a poor interview in which Palin herself acknowledges as a bad performance. She clearly has disagreed with several Supreme Court cases, including the case uh, recently uh, against Exxon, uh, the settlement there um, that she fought against and had been there. You mentioned YouTube. There are YouTube recordings of her coming out against that case. She just didn't bring it up for whatever reason. But she clearly reads newspapers. Um, I, I know for a fact that she regularly reads uh, USA Today and uh, the two major Alaska newspapers and also reads the Wall Street Journal and other clippings that her staff prepares for her on a regular basis. Again, she didn't answer the question. She flubbed the interview. Uh, All right, so and you're saying that so that's didn't... One that... Interview, that's one interview in a course of a, a political career that is uh, now taking off and uh, I think uh, it's, it's uh, Matt, hard to generalize uh, or predict the future of a politician based on a single interview performance. Matt, that, see, that's why I wonder if you guys are being serious about this, because you really think it's that one interview? I mean, I, you, did you see a resignation speech? I mean, did you see any of her speeches? It, it's, look, if I have an idiot on my side, I don't want to encourage him. I want to say he, he's not with me, right? My God, that guy's a clownorama. I, I don't want anything to do with him. I mean, you, uh, you watch Palin, and it's a train wreck. As Politico has said, every other thing is a, uh, she goes into a verbal cul-de-sac. And you say, what is she talking about? And it, it's, Matt, she well, doesn't know who Hamas it's great is. It's from you because you, it's exactly what I discuss in the persecution of Sarah Palin. I think the portrait you're painting of her is just simply inaccurate. But it's, it's not, not a portrait I'm painting. Any, we ran the clips. Anyone, you talk to anyone in Alaska, including her critics. They know her best. She's been around there. They'll say, listen. Do not underestimate this woman. She is not unintelligent. Can't get enough of the Young Turks? Well, then subscribe to the TYT's YouTube channel. What's the matter with you?